back to the world of Dragon Slayer. Let's hope that this action RPG is better than that godforsaken mess that was 1990's Dragon Slayer 1. First off, you'll have to equip yourself. You get a thousand gold with which you can buy a basic sword, armor, and shield. Or you can skulk around the castle to the right to find the best armor and shield available to you at present, meaning you can spend all your cash on the much stronger longsword from the armory. I'm not advocating stealing from your country's monarch, but then you'll need to equip it. Nowadays, you might be used to the luxury of shop vendors dressing your characters in their latest purchases, but customer service wasn't up to the same standard back then. Press B to access the menu, then it's the third option down. Top option is magic, then it's items. The fourth is your save game. You don't earn money the usual way, you can only get it by selling things that enemies drop. And if you've just bought the longsword, you now need to find an extra 200 gold in order to buy that health spell. Near your home village, you can heal at any time by talking to the old man in your house. But out in the world, healing opportunities are few and far between. The way you level up is a little weird as well. On the bottom right of your screen is a little gravestone with a number next to it. This is a kill count. Once you slay a hundred monsters, you'll level up. This is remarkably easy to do. At various locations in the overworld, you'll see something that looks like a cemetery. This is a monster spawn point, and they'll keep coming indefinitely. So just camp out there and stab stuff until you level up as much as you want. If you ever get stuck in the game, just come back to a spawn point, rinse and repeat. It's super cheap, but the combat is not really this game's strength, so you might as well get it out of the way in one go, and then avoid the majority of the enemies thereafter. Well, I say you level up, but there seems to be two concurrent experience meters in this game. I've never seen a leveling up system like this. Killing 100 enemies increases your health and MP, which you'd think equates to leveling up, but looking on your stat screen, it still says level 1. Your attack and defense points don't actually increase when you do this, you're just tankier. The way to properly increase your character strength is to beat a dungeon boss. Each one will increase your level and give an even larger boost to your HP and MP. The way the game progresses is fairly standard. You go from town to town, doing favors like killing bosses or fetching stuff. Although occasionally these mini-quests can be a little cryptic. For example, the first town you come to is being plagued by a goblin. You need to go to the entrance to his dungeon, only to find you can't get in because of a great swamp. The guy stood there tells you to find a woman who might help you, and to take this water turtle. So you have to go look for her, she stood not far away in front of a waterfall, and she tells you to fill the turtle with water from this spring, at least the word translates as turtle, it might have a second meaning that makes more sense, I don't know. Take that water back to the swamp and pour it in, which somehow dries up the swamp, allowing you access. There are a bunch of instances like that where you go to a place, get an item, and backtrack a ways to use it somewhere you were previously. Often, there are few clues as to what you need to do, which can be irritating. The dungeons are not very exciting. They're virtually always a linear path populated by the same enemies you fought outside until you get to a boss. The bosses typically have one, two at most, attack patterns, and if you can find the safe spot, you'll beat them without a problem. I found the whole game to be like that. Dragon Slayer Gaiden is alarmingly devoid of challenge, and it's not down to me cheesing the leveling up system. It's better than Dragon Slayer 1, which was awful, and considerably so. And if you're after a really breezy, casual, brainless action RPG adventure, then this might be just what you're looking for. Thank <laughs> you.